Day 8. A Son Forever Jesus, beloved Son, forever. Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of his own accord but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever he does, that the Son does likewise. The Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 19. As the perfect Son of the Father, Jesus sets the perfect example for us. While this might seem obvious, there is a profound point about sonship that we often overlook. Sons do not grow out of sonship. Put another way, sons never graduate from being sons. At the deepest core of Jesus' identity, he is always a son. His constant posture is always a son who receives everything from his father. The father loves the son and shows him all that he himself is doing. The Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 20. With the identity of Son of the Father at the foundation of his very life, Jesus will grow in full stature. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verse 52. And his identity will grow and flourish in many other ways. But what is important for us to realize is that all these other identities build off his profound experience of being a son of the Father and the son of Mary. From the Annunciation to the Crucifixion and beyond, Jesus always remains the beloved Son, and this is the foundation of his whole life. Mary, always Mother how wonderful it was for Mary to see Jesus grow into full stature and to live out the fullness of his mission. In a real way, she was always his mother and he was always her little son. Her motherly heart was a constant source of love and encouragement for him. Her very presence in his life allowed Jesus to remain in the posture of beloved sonship no matter the exterior circumstances. Jesus rejoiced at the presence of his mother every step of the way. The thirty years at Nazareth, her presence during his public ministry, and her faithful love on the way of the cross were constant reminders for him of the Father's faithfulness. With this perfect gift of her motherhood, it should deeply move us that Jesus, while hanging on the cross, decided to give his followers one last gift the gift of his mother. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. The Gospel John, chapter 19, verse 26 to 27. Jesus longs for his disciples to share in the constant gift of Mary's motherhood. St. Juan Diego and Us you are always and will forever be a son. Brother, it is never too late for you. St. Juan Diego was 57 years old, and yet Our Lady of Guadalupe called him my youngest and dearest son. Nikon Mopoa, 58. Let this remind you of the truth that on our spiritual journey, we are always sons of the Father and of Mary. It is never too late for God to begin for God to perfect his work of love in you. Clearly, Our Lady of Guadalupe does not see age as an obstacle or a precondition for discipleship. She appeared to young shepherd children at Fatima, but here she appeared to a full-grown man in Juan Diego and an even older man, Juan Diego's uncle. What is she looking for in our hearts then? Brother, Mary is looking for a humble, receptive, simple and open heart. Children excel in these qualities. To be in the posture of a perpetual son is to constantly receive everything from the Father through Mary. It is to always listen, constantly putting into our hearts the word and will of God, living in the present moment. No matter how old or young we are, we can always begin again to become like children and receive the kingdom of God.
Call to Action If we live in the truth that we are beloved sons of the Father, then every part of our lives should reflect this reality. I realize this is a huge calling, but Jesus gives us the grace every day to be faithful sons that bear fruit in the kingdom of God. Here are two call-to-action steps that will hold us accountable on our daily journey, focused on prayer and service. Number one, prayer life and the sacramental life. Read the gospel passage of the baptism of Jesus, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 9 to 11. Ask for the grace of the Holy Spirit to hear the Father proclaim over you that you are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Pay attention to what happens in your heart during this prayer. Next time you go to Mass and receive Jesus in the Eucharist, I would invite you to recall the same words of the Father that He speaks over His beloved sons. Let Jesus in the Eucharist remind you of the truth of your sonship. Number two, service. When we are secure in our sonship, we have the freedom to be other-focused, just like Jesus was. Make a decision today to share with someone else in a concrete way the love you have received from God through an act of service. Prayer O oh Jesus, we adore you, we love you, and we thank you for the gift of your presence. You are the beloved Son of the Father who lived constantly from the deep source of your sonship. Jesus, give us the grace to live every day as true sons of the Father. We ask you now to hear this prayer. Our Lady of Guadalupe, Mother of God and Mother of us, draw us close to your heart. Like you did for Juan Diego, constantly remind us that we are always sons, no matter where we find ourselves on the journey of faith. Please come and fill us with your love. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Litany of Restoration of Sonship. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we ask you to restore our sonship. Jesus, beloved Son of the Father, restore my sonship. Jesus, chosen Son of the Father, restore my sonship. Jesus, seen and known by the Father, restore my sonship. Jesus, safe and secure in the Father's gaze, restore my sonship. Jesus, Redeemer of every man, restore my sonship. Jesus, living in the blessing of the Father, restore my sonship. Jesus, sent from the Father to save us, restore my sonship. Jesus, eternal Son of the Father, restore my sonship. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we ask you to restore in us the gift of prayer. Jesus, a man of deep prayer, restore my prayer. Jesus, living in perfect communion with the Father and the Holy Spirit, restore my prayer. Jesus, the compassionate gaze of the Father, restore my prayer. Jesus, always listening and receptive to the Father, restore my prayer. Jesus, full of trust and surrender, restore my prayer. Jesus, who consecrated every moment of his life to prayer, restore my prayer. Jesus, always pouring out your Holy Spirit on your bride, the church, restore my prayer. Jesus, always rejoicing in the Father with adoration and gratitude, restore my prayer. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we ask you to restore our masculinity. Jesus, source of true masculinity, restore my masculine heart. Jesus, man of holy desire, restore my masculine heart. Jesus, most magnanimous and generous, restore my masculine heart. Jesus, most chaste, restore my masculine heart. Jesus, meek and pure, restore my masculine heart. Jesus, perfectly open and receptive, restore my masculine heart. Jesus, perfectly oriented to the Father, restore my masculine heart. 
Jesus, source of freedom and peace, restore my masculine heart. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we ask you to restore our actions and attitudes with the power of the Beatitudes. Jesus, most poor, restore the actions and attitudes of my sonship. Jesus, the son who mourns, restore the actions and attitudes of my sonship. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, restore the actions and attitudes of my sonship. Jesus, the righteous one, restore the actions and attitudes of my sonship. Jesus, most merciful, restore the actions and attitudes of my sonship. Jesus, most pure, restore the actions and attitudes of my sonship. Jesus, Prince of Peace, restore the actions and attitudes of my sonship. Jesus, Suffering Servant, restore the actions and attitudes of my sonship. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we ask you to restore our God-given mission. Jesus, overflowing love of the Father, restore my mission. Jesus, the one who calls us to share in his own mission, restore my mission. Jesus, our brother who radically loves his neighbor, restore my mission. Jesus, bridegroom of the church who lays down his life for his bride, restore my mission. Jesus, perfect revelation of the Father's heart, restore my mission. Jesus, perfect revealer of divine love and mercy, Restore my mission. Jesus, divine healer sent from heaven, restore my mission. Jesus, the beloved son who comes to bring us home to heaven, restore my mission. We make these prayers to the intercession of our mother, our lady of Guadalupe, amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. <laughs>